Welcome to ProCast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Monday, October 12th, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Sarah Fletcher. Today's news is sponsored by Covenant Reliance Producers. We build success stories. For more information, please visit www.crproducers.com. Now for today's headlines. While the majority of economists don't expect unemployment, housing, or credit to improve just yet, more than 80% believe the end is near for the recession that has lasted approximately the past two years. In fact, the National Association for Business Economics indicates that 81% of economists believe the recovery has begun, and only 9% believe the economy is still in a recession, while 4 say they're uncertain. And while economists forecast that in the three months ended with September, the U.S. economy grew at an annual rate of 3%, the official reading of gross domestic product won't be out for weeks. In economic news, the price per barrel for oil this morning climbed above $72, likely the result of investors gaining confidence in oil demand amid reports of economic recovery. Just last week, the cost of crude climbed 2.6% after forecasts from the International Energy Agency and the U.S. Energy Information Administration indicated an increase in stockpiles. In terms of this morning, the cost of crude for November delivery rose a dollar to $72.77 a barrel, a figure not far behind the 2009 high of $75 reached in August. In investment news, stocks recovered this morning with the Dow climbing as high as 9931.82, the first time the figure climbed above 9900 in more than a year. In fact, the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 40 points, or 0.4%, more than two and a half hours into the session. This brings the Dow close to 10,000, a significant figure which it last crossed October 7, 2008. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 index gained 6 points, or 0.6%, and the NASDAQ Composite climbed 10 points, or 0.5% in early morning trading. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and thanks for watching ProCast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit ProducersWeb.com.